Welcome to Vibe number two. This is my bonus video. It's the final video. So the number has grown. So thank you to 345 of you beautiful people who are here. Um, thank you to everybody who's ever actually put comments in the comments. I thank you guys. That means a lot. I do try to reply to everyone that I catch. If I've missed you, I do apologize. I'm not really good with technology. I am 50 years old and I'm working on a Mac Book Pro. Sorry, title's right there. So, yeah. Um, I almost wasn't going to film tonight because I'm trying to watch this stuff on TikTok because the pretendians are doing the native erasure again. And as a person who has tried racial, that being native black and white, as I was before social media, as I am going to be after social media, is no longer a thing. And when everybody's living in the virtual world, and when the Terminator's coming to attack, I'll be the guy you guys call. Providing that I'm not dead before that happens. Anyway, just want to say thank you, because as I said before, the second that someone signs me, they may not allow me to make any more Kung Fu Havoc number two YouTube videos, or they may restrict me to certain things at certain times and shit. Like I said, if I won the lottery, I'd be dangerous. If I won the lottery by myself, I'd be lethal, because there would be nothing that could stop me from accomplishing everything I want to accomplish. See, I'm not a greedy person. So all I could do is buy a studio somewhere and then just start pumping out like direct-to-video movies. <coughs> <coughs> Get some contracts signed with like Amazon Prime or Netflix. I'll, I'll make some shit happen. Or if they don't want to do that, fuck, I won the lottery. I'll just start my own damn streaming service and I'll make that shit dirt fucking cheap. I'll be like what Ryan Reynolds has done with that phone company. So I'll be like, all right, well, we're going to start a streaming service. And under no circumstances will the pay ever go over $10. They're like, what? I said, yeah, I don't care what the fuck it is. The pay does not go over $10. And we'll have membership where, you know, you got, um, you got five family members. So we can have special packages where it'll still amount to where it's $10. Yeah. You know? And they'll be like, well, why do you want like 10 people to only pay $10? Well, technically, as long as one person pays $10... We're still going to get paid, you know, so getting mad that other people are using other people's membership, that motherfucker that's the member is still going to pay you because even if their friends using their shit, they want to use their shit. So they're still going to pay you. So don't get greedy, which is kind of what Netflix has pretty much done. They've, they've, they've definitely been hit with a bunch of like the greed disease. I will explain that. All right. Really quickly while I'm making this thank you video. Okay. So, the best example I can give you, it's not that. <laughs> this is Danny Moonstar. Y'all seen the video, all right? This body is the same body as Karma and Wolfsbane. And all of them have very nice booties. If you're a, a butt man, you know, look at that butt. That big old, big old butt. Look at that butt. Why does it look the same? Because it's the same damn body. So, I had to buy three Danny Moonstars to get Karma and Wolfsbane. Which, by comic book standards, Wolfsbane is the shortest. Karma's coming in second because she's a little bit taller than Wolfsbane. And Danny's taller than both of them because I believe Danny's like 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, Karma, for sure, is 5'3". And Wolfsbane was maybe 5'1", five, 5'2". But that was when they was teenagers. And Renee got a little older. I don't think she made it past 5'6". I know Danny and Karma didn't make it past 5'6 or 5'7". I believe Danny's still the tallest. But since all of them have the same freaking body, the simple concept is that I love Marvel Legends since these are the first three I have, but they kind of got greedy. Why not give Karma and Wolfsbane different bodies? Why not give another Danny Moonstar, an up-to-date body. More of her X-Force stuff from back in the 90s, where she was no longer in comics, and she was an X-Factor member with Jamie Maddox and Richter. Because greed is a thing. I bought three of these dolls to get two extra figures. With three heads for this and three heads for that. And now Danny also has three heads. By the way, this is what made that noise. This is the 
a bomb. There it is. It's the yellow one. My favorite color. Anyway. They were all sitting up there, so when I went to grab Danny, I obviously laid her on there, and she hit the freaking button. So there's that. Anyway, the moral of the story is really quite simple. Greed is what has hit Netflix. All right? And here's the thing. Not only did they get greedy, but they stopped doing the disc to insist that you do the streaming service. Fuck that shit. I'm like this, look, whatever the disc is, whatever the screaming service is, everything's just going to be 10 bucks. No higher than 10 bucks, no lower than five. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just say you want the disc, $5, as many as you want, as long as you send the motherfuckers back unscathed, then you don't have to pay for the motherfuckers. You're just paying the rent the bitches, just like they used to be. Now, if you damage it, now you got to send us, like, however much money it costs to pay for the fucking disc. Which you will know that is kind of with the contract. But with the streaming service, if the streaming service is $10, and you have five people in your family in the same house, you don't need five different streaming services. You're in the same house. One person's paying that 10 bucks. You better believe, even if everybody else is there, one person's going to pay that 10 bucks. You're going to get your 10 bucks, regardless of who the fuck it is. You're going to get that 10 bucks. And, you know, the people who watch it, they were like, Yo, man, we ain't got a Netflix. Did you help pay that ten dollars? I almost guarantee goddamn to you, somebody in that house is gonna pay that ten bucks, even if it's not the fucking guy who has the membership. That ten bucks is gonna get covered. Netflix just jumped the gun and got greedy. They stopped doing the disc and started the streaming service. And this is what you're gonna do. So, greed kills you in the long run. Why am I gonna pay you extra money when I can just switch to a different streaming service? Makes sense to me. No offense, Netflix, but you know, that's that's kind of how it works. You know, if you're gonna get greedy, you're gonna lose customers faster than you're gonna get them. You know, if you're gonna start putting super hyper ex extenuating circumstances on people, be like, well, fuck you, I can go to somebody else. And the one thing you have to understand when it comes to any kind of business, to stay in business, you need competition, and you will always have competition. Like I said, Amazon Prime, you got Netflix. And you have Disney Plus. And in some cases, you can get both at the same thing for one low price. So, why pay extra when I can just do this? Excuse me. You have to think about things like that when you're doing shit. So, just consider that if I ever won the lottery and I won that shit big, I'm making my own studio. I'm making my own movies. I'll start my own streaming service and that way everything can be 10 bucks. Because... If you can afford a cell phone but you're homeless, you probably can afford a streaming service for 10 bucks. I'm sorry. My straight talk phone. I can get Netflix if I want. I can get Disney Plus if I want. I use my phone for TikToks and Instagram. Yeah, I'm not watching TV on that when I have a TV at home. No, it's just not going to happen. And I don't have to watch TV as long as I have the internet because I can always watch YouTube. See? And for the most part, unless you sign up for YouTube Music or sign up for YouTube Premium or YouTube Plus or whatever the fuck that shit is, it doesn't cost you anything just to watch shit on YouTube. You might not get the full movie unless you get YouTube Plus or YouTube Premium and then you're renting movies for like 30 some odd bucks or whatever. Check that stuff when they offer you. Now, I dismiss it because I just don't have time. I want to make movies, not watch them. Now, if you guys are hiring, I am available. But... I'm not available to just watch movies when I want to be in the movies versus watching the movies. Anyway, thank you to the 345 of you who have just taken the time of 10 minutes and some change to watch this video. I thank you. Danny, Wolfsbane, and Karma thanks you. Hell, even Pikachu thanks you. So, Pika Pika. And that being said, Echo Fan Great Wolf. This is Cuff We Have number two. The no name robot that makes all the noise also thanks you. And so does the scary shit on the TV behind me. That being said, I am Echo Fan Great Wolf. This is Cuff Fabric number two. Be seeing you.